Hey there, comic friends and fiends, it's Rob in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's Monday, and that can only mean it's time for Mail Call. So I got all these boxes here, it came in through the post and uh let's take a look and see what we got goodies goodies for sure we got two um first shipment here from my uh krs again i sing the praise that is the krs for their customer service is amazing um all right so simple gemini i had to already split the tape to save time let's save that because we're gonna need some gemini mailers before long uh let's see some we got painters tape on two backing boards on either side of my book, but there's nothing on the side, so I should be able to slide my book out the side. Yes, maybe? Nope. It's just sticking to it. <clears throat> so, while I'm peeling this off here, I'd like to remind you, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, notify, hit the notification bell so you alerted when there's new content, and um, what else do they say? Oh yeah, leave a comment down below. Yeah, uh, We are coming up on the 500 subscriber giveaway, and we have um, lots of giveaways or to go along with that. Only makes sense that we have a lot of giveaways for the giveaway, huh? Anyways, I'm, I'm insane. Alright, first up, Clayton Crane. X-Men number one. Really did want to get the Virgin variant on this. Unfortunately, um, it sold out super quick. Um, so I had to deal, I had to settle for just the uh, trade dress, but that's okay. Clayton Crane, win, win a winner chicken dinner. I think what's going to happen, I'm, this is one of these ones I'm going to hang on to till there's till the next signing event. And I think a nice infinity signature right there between her arm and claws and her body is going to look awesome. All right, next up, another one from KRS. A couple outstanding orders with them. Again, I split open the backside. This time we get a KRS Worldwide sticker included in the box. Again, we will hold on and reuse the Geminis. And not only is it good for the planet, but it's good for those of us that are cheap bastards. <laughs> All right. Let's peel this open here. A couple more books in here. So let's separate these out. All right, uh, backing boards, those I do just recycle because I don't use these backing boards for much of anything. All right, first book up. Ooh. So this would be um, the uh, uh, Inyok Lee uh, virgin variant of the Gwenum versus Carnage. I think this is issue three, uh, signed by Inyok Lee. Kind of the old uh, face it tiger, you hit the jackpot kind of look to her while she's leaning up against the thing. And oh, actually, it is uh, issue one. So there's the trade, there's the trade dress variant there. So Gwenum versus Carnage, uh, signed. Remember, he even says face it. Tiger, you just, you just lost, oh, you just lost the jackpot. <laughs> nice play on it. I like that. All right. So anyways, uh, of course, an homage to the final panel of Amazing Spider-Man issue number 42. Cool. All right. And the other one, uh, this is an older book that I think I picked this up only because it was kind of a combination of one I didn't have it uh, but it was like a it was on sale and I had a coupon code for to spend their own you know it, they have a rewards program so it didn't cost me any money um, so throw in there uh, punchline um, number one uh, this would be uh, I think this is Warren Warren Lowe 
I believe is the uh, cover artist on this one here. It doesn't say on the front. It doesn't say on the front there. The signature is kind of <laughs> confused there, but if it's not Warren Lowe, then I apologize to the artist who I've attributed this to somebody else. The cool cover. I like Punchline. All right. This next one from uh, Unknown Comics. Now, I found this one really interesting. I cut it open, and it was filled with packing peanuts. So I went and dumped half the packing peanuts. But what I found interesting was, so apparently they ran out of Gemini mailers, because there's, there's not a slab in here. It's raw books. They put the raw books on one side and just filled the rest with packing peanuts. So there's no, rather than put packing peanuts on both sides to try to add some cushion and protection, they just used the pack, packing peanuts to uh, keep it from shifting around, which is okay because um, they did bubble wrap it uh, quite extensively as I'm trying to get this out of here now without... <clears throat> All right, without knocking peanuts all the place. Now, this they could have probably just thrown it in a something else. I don't know. They love packing tape. But, retail, but you know, I don't fault retailers in this way as much, I suppose. Because, let's be honest, the retailers aren't going to stock a whole bunch of different tapes. They just care about getting it to you in one piece and protecting it. And not your ease of getting it out of the packaging. That's not their problem. So I don't blame them. Uh, do I wish that they they packed it like um, some of us uh, do? That the collectors that worry about getting it out of the packaging as well as protecting it while it's in the packaging? Sure. That would be phenomenal. Is it ever going to happen? No. And that's probably just the way it is. Especially in the absence of Gemini mailers. Um, Alright, all that to get one layer of bubble wrap off. I think I can now cut this. There's like two more plies, so they did bubble wrap it really well. Um, now, yeah, I got enough in, I can tear this and then pull this out. And now they have done my next least favorite thing this is this packaging is you know dj links talks about how tape is the bane of him well he and i both share our distaste for packing peanuts but i don't think anybody has the dislike for these stupid tyvek mailers like i do now in this case they did just close it up it seems with just some scotch tape um, so it's not actually a bad thing this time, uh, where I dislike these are when they use the seal tape and close these up as tight as they can. So you can't get into them without damaging the books. So, um, I guess I got to take back what I was going to say to about them on that because they did it nice. All right. First book up. Sorry, I thought I saw like a massive amount of color rub on the book and I was about to come unglued, but no. All right, uh, David Nakayama, variant of X-Men 1. Very similar, of course. Also, we saw um, the J. Scott Campbell of uh, X-Men 1. They're kind of um, a lot of people doing this negative space color variation, although David Nakayama has been doing it um, on a lot of titles lately. He's did a whole run of them with the Gwenum versus Carnage. He did a run of them with, uh, he did, of course, Daredevil 25. He did one. He did one um, with uh, Black Cat. He's a, So he's done a whole, a whole slew of them. Oh, he did one, uh, Strange Academy. Um, so it's kind of a thing he's done a bunch of. Uh, it's a beautiful cover. I like it clean it's not a true negative space because we do have black outline around uh the green for uh body shaping as opposed to um the ones we would see like j scott campbell where it's just completely gone on his but very cool cover um oh noctera i don't know i gotta look at what issue this is i don't remember if, what I'm awful, but you know, I'm late to the Noctera party. A bunch of people have told me, Hey Rob, you know, you'll probably like Noctera. And, um, so I figure what the hell this is.
issue one. All right, cool. So, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 all right. Uh, and I don't even remember who this is. Um, but it's a cool Noctera cover. Maybe I have a packing list. <gasps> and maybe I can look it up on the packing list. <gasps> and it is Unknown Comic cr Comics Crease Exclusive Virgin Variant. So, Crease. Don't know. But it's cool, Noctera. And it's a number one. All right, next up are going to be uh, X Factor 10, which of course um, has some rumored um, catastrophic. So the first one is um, Miguel Mercado exclusive variant. Of course, this all ties into their X Ball and all the X Men and X Mutants and whatnot showing up in their gala dress and whatnot. Um, so I'm assuming that that's Polaris. I'm really not a big X person. I should know better. Um, but anyways, it was a nice cover. They had a buy to get to free or something. Um, and the last one up, uh, which kind of foreshadows what the rumors are for this one just a little bit. Um, yeah. X Factor 10, somebody might be dying. Rumor had it. Or something bad was happening to someone. So, my guess is it's Scarlet Witch. But of course, this is the homage to uh, a little crisis on Infinite Earths, whatever as I recall. Uh, Superman holding uh, Supergirl's body. So, there you are. I still got one more box. We has slab, um, which is interesting. I mean, I know it's a slab because it's from uh, Sarasota, Florida, and I don't have anything else from Sarasota, Florida. And it's from Matthew Saltzman, who is the shipping manager there. Um, but I didn't get any notification of shipping, so I'm not entirely sure what slab this is. So let's find out. Um, I already cut it open. But where? Oops! Did I cut it open in the wrong spot? Oh no! It opens like this. Okay. Who's smarter, the box or the box of rocks? All right. So let's pull the slab out. Mm -hmm. Keep that all together, so that way I can't see what it is yet. All right, let's see here. Was that's the back? Oh, wait a second. There's some paperwork. Let me pull paperwork out. What does this say? Oh, what is what's a paper submission form? Oh, 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 oh. Submitter's name it says Trinity for myself. This is from one of my facilitators. So one of my facilitators um, that I utilize, Trinity uh, Comic Convention Services, um, had a signing. Um, and let's see, what book is this? Uh, Star Wars, uh, Dr. Afra, issue seven. Okay, Jenny Frizen. All right, so Jenny Frizen signing was going on, and I sent off... Um, my Dr. Afra in 1 in 25 incentive variant um, for issue 7 uh, it was Jenny Frizen cover um, <clears throat> and let's see so here's the cover look at that we got Jenny Frizen's signature right across the front beautiful and of course we don't have any oh what I was going to say we don't have any special thing but a nine four. What a god! This freaking book is pristine. There's not a scratch, not a corner nick, not an edge indentation. Oh, what the f that 
was not. There's some rub along the edge of the spine on the back side a little bit that's um, above and below the bottom staple that is breaking color. I do not recall that being there. I'm going to start taking pictures um, of books before I send them off, I suppose, um, so I can compare them after the fact, because that's disappointing. But still, it's a cool cover, Jenny Frizen um, signature. It's only my second Jenny Frizen uh, all my, on my various books I have, so uh, cool to add that. Love Dr. Afra. Great, great character. Um, I'm hope the hell Disney does something with her and not because I care about the spec on it because I'm not going to sell any of my Dr. Afro stuff but mostly just because I think it would be really fun because it's a character that's not a force user and to be, you could have an entire show uh, centered around that and exploring the galaxy and doing stuff it's coming like she's you know kind of the Indiana Jones of the Star Wars universe well, that does it for me today. Um, so again, I do have my um, contest uh, or my 500 subscriber giveaway. It'll be happening uh, shortly after we hit 500. Um, give her uh, set 500 subscribers. Uh, we have some slabs. I'll give you a, a tease. There's one of them. There's another one. There's another one. Um, so there's some slabs. I'll have some raw books to give away. Uh, maybe we'll get some guests that'll come to give away some. Uh, we'll see. But like and subscribe down below. And of course, don't forget also while you're at it, um, the big J man, the Don, Jimmy Don, doing his thousand subscriber drive. Help him out. Get a thousand subscribers. Make sure you then um, watch uh, my um Jimmy Don 1000 subscriber giveaway and leave a comment and if you're a subscriber to him and leave a comment on the video so you are entered to win this double signed um, Venom uh, 26 uh, CBCS 9.8 slab so thank you all very much until next time collect what you want don't listen to anybody including myself because I'm just a fat man with fat stacks of comics and a fat opinion thanks for watching